Welcome to my meditation window today. I thought today we could do our three-part meditation and put it all together. Grounding, color your space, your aura bubble, going inside your head and making your own space for yourself so that you can think, that you can sleep, that you can dream, uh, aspire to be whatever you want to be. And have fun with it and practice. If you hear little noises in the background, it's a puppy. She's very cute. Maybe I'll put a little video in here of her. Whenever I go into my meditations, I do more than a three-part meditation. Today we're just doing beginning. And each big practice meditation that I'm gonna do, I will help you achieve something of some kind. Today, let's think about releasing, cleansing, and bringing in. And what you wanna do is you wanna think of something that you wanna let go in all of your bodies. So something to let go in your spiritual body, your mental, your emotional, and your physical. And then focus on those. Focus work is really good to do because it starts helping you focus as you do regular things in your life. So practice focusing on certain things in meditation and just observing what is around you. I'm an observer. I like to watch things. I like to watch people. I'm not a big talker. I don't have to talk. I don't have to constantly be conversing about drama and gossip. I actually have lost my voice many times and couldn't speak. So what do you do when you can't speak? You watch and you observe and you listen. And you learn a lot by doing that. So let's do this. You want to firmly plant your feet on the floor. If you're in a nice soft chair and you have your feet on the ottoman, just make sure you don't cross your legs. You want to keep them relaxed and natural. And don't cross your arms or your hands. So we're going to first focus on our body, on whatever we're sitting on or laying on, because you can do this laying down too. And if you fall asleep, that's okay too, because you'll still be meditating. Just begin. And if that's what you need, that's what you need. You'll still think about it. And it's not a big deal. In this work, it's not a big deal. Doesn't really freaking matter. That's called DFM. And it helps a lot to think about that. Doesn't really matter. If it really matters to you, then fix it. Don't complain about it. And move on with your life. And keep doing what you're doing. So, we're going to sit and we're going to firmly plant ourselves on whatever we're sitting on and we're going to become relaxed, we're going to breathe and we're going to focus on our breathing. So. Today, with each breath, we're going to focus on the breath, just breathing. And we're going to breathe from our belly. So we're going to push our belly out, and then we're going to bring it in, and push our belly out, and bring it in, push our belly out. and bring it in. 
Push your belly out and bring it in. Heart breath, open and release and let go. Bring in positivity and release. And just remind your body, remind yourself, remind your bodies to bring in positivity and to let go. And then go into breathing normally. Now, breath is very important to me because I have asthma and allergies. And I've had asthma my whole life. And breathing is one of my biggest fears of not being able to breathe. It's very scary. And I have come to a point in <clears throat> a few attacks that I couldn't breathe and I thought I was going to suffocate to death. So <laughs> I do like to breathe and I will do it six to eight times and focus on my breath and tell myself that everything's okay and I can breathe. It helps to release anxiety. That's a lot of where my anxiety stems from and my nervousness. Once we're calmed and relaxed and you can always release some tension I hold a lot of tension in the necks our shoulders you want to roll your shoulders back Kind of align yourself, sit up straight, confident, strong, courageous, brave. We're going to bring our focus onto the chair that we're sitting on. And then we're going to go deeper to the chair that is on the floor. And the floor, wherever that is. So if you're on the second floor, the floor is on the first floor. So we're gonna go down the first floor. And if the first floor is on a basement, then we're gonna go all the way down into the basement and we're gonna focus all the way down to the crust of the earth. And we're going to broaden our horizons, broaden our imagination, and do this focus work down and we're going to drop a grounding cord and today I like a very well I want I want um, a really cool shaft of light, not white. So you never want to surround yourself in white. You never want to drop white because it attracts beings and other things that you may not want following you around. Leave white for other crafty work 
let's say. I want to do a very cool shaft of golden, sunshine, orangey, yellow light. Friendship, joy, peace, love. We're gonna drop that from our tailbone all the way down to the middle of the earth. And we're just gonna watch it grow and grow as wide as our bodies, very slippery, so everything can just slide down it. And we're going to sign our name on it and date it. So it is ours and it is present. And whatever we're feeling for the moment, I'm feeling a little, I'm not sure, I don't really care. I'm just gonna throw down my shaft of cool light down the middle of the earth and let her handle it. She'll turn it into positive energy and release it out to the world, release it out to whoever needs it. And you can always send it some to a friend, to an organization, to a part of the world. A little bit of positivity here and there. Otherwise, it'll just go out to the world. Kind of hit whoever needs it or over the the earthly spirit teams. If you're having trouble letting go, just tell it to go. You can say it out loud. You can say, I feel you. I sense you, I thank you for coming, and I would like to let you go. I let you go. I let you go down, and down to the middle of the earth, out of me, away from me. Please leave. Thank you for coming. Have a great day. And always sit in that space for a few moments until you get it. Or pretend to get it. We're practicing. And we're going to practice perfectly until we get it. Next, we want to focus on the area and the space around us. Three foot or a bubble all around us. But like a soap bubble, transparent. And we're gonna color it a really cool color for this moment. Since we went with a very sunshiny yellow golden light, I'm gonna go with a very peachy, orangey, little bit of yellow color around me. Lighter in color, one shade lighter. You can do any color you want for this moment. I always do one shade lighter. And around the edge, I like to do a silver lining, a gold lining, a little emphasis on it and you can also say metallic or neon or bright or gentle just put a little emphasis on it and imagine it to be And 
watch your space. Feel your space. Sense the space around you. And you're also gonna go front and back, side to side. I like to watch it go diagonal above me and below. And if there's anything in your space, you can say, light up my space. Light it up. And you may see, feel, or sense something. Maybe some cracks, some tatters, or it may just be healed right away from just coloring it, and that can happen. This kind of depends on or space. I do see some little, just some little things. So I'm going to just say to myself, you can say it out loud, clear out my space. I don't need you. I feel you. I sense you. And I'm going to drop you down my grounding card. If they'd rather fly out to the universe, then fly them out. Use your imagination. I have a very vivid imagination. Always have, I'm an only child. That's why I like these meditations because I can make it up as I go along. It's just an outline. You can do any color, you can do any grounding cord, you can, you can make it dramatic, you can make it simple, you can do it differently at any time, and you can do this anywhere. I have done it in places where it's very noisy. I have done it in a bathroom, at friends' houses, at a party, because people were crazy. And so I went in there and I protected my space and myself. And then I went out and did what I had to do. To have fun, but be protected from everyone's mojo. Now we have our grounding cord, we have our space. Always make sure to remember to breathe a few deep times in between. Smile. If there's a reason you can't smile, you're sad, you're still sad, you're still angry, you're still something, feel that and let it go. Feel it, let it go. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for making me angry. Now I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for making me sad. I'm gonna feel really sad. And then I'm gonna let you go. Tell it to go. Make it so. Third part of the meditation. We're gonna go inside our head. We're gonna make our own little room just for, for yourself, you, only. You can only have in there what you want in there. So we're gonna focus up and inside our little head here. There's a little bird perch and in the middle is your perineal gland. That's where your intuition is. That's where you can think. That's where you can see and feel and sense. Connected to your gut. And I'm gonna talk about that at the end. We're gonna go in there and we're going to just see a room. Somewhere cool, somewhere beautiful. Anywhere you want to be for this moment. I love my teepee. Because someday I'm going to have a teepee. In the middle of my own little pasture. By my house. So I'm going to go inside my teepee. 
and have some really comfy rugs on the floor and some pillows and it's just me in there and there's a really cool book I think I'll see my book in there my book is in there a light and some incense and inform yourself that you are safe, that you are happy, that you are healthy, that you are blessed. So what I want you to do is tell yourself, I am blessed. I am full of love. I am full of positive energy. I shall bring in positivity and prosperity into my life. you have any trouble with those or anything that you tell yourself, affirmations, breathe them through. Anything that comes up, release it, feel it, and let it go. Feel it, release it, let it go. I'm gonna fly some of that out to the universe. The universe can handle it. I say, Great Spirit, I say universe because I'm neutral. It's the God of your heart. Whatever faith and belief that you have, talk to that. Ask for that to come in. Guide you and help you and lead you into your best life's work whatever that may be let's think about that just for a moment focus on our life work mine is my book that will be coming very soon and i'll be doing a few videos about that too because that's going to be fun whatever your life work is Put it inside your head. Ask for help if you need it, for guidance. Whatever comes up for you, release. The last part of your meditation is Big Gold Sun. I will get into other fun Big Gold Suns later for this practice and for a few more practice sessions we're going to use the little of spinning golden healing light and we're going to see it over our heads. It is spinning, it is turning, it is whatever it's doing, whatever you sense or feel or see. And we're gonna call back all of our energy that we've left behind, everywhere that we have gone, everywhere that we have been, we leave little energy behind. We're gonna call that back to us to bring us more energy, to bring our energy back into our big old sun. And we're gonna watch it get nice, and big and full. And we're gonna validate our big old sun with something that we would like to fill in. What is yours for today? Let 
mine is prosperity. Prosperity isn't always money. It's prosperity in your life, in your imagination, in your dreams. Prosperity for relationships. Prosperity can come in many different ways. I love prosperity. So, big gold sun of prosperity. Validate your sun for whatever you would like. Sit for a moment, you can breathe. Make sure that you release and have let go of everything that you need to. Now we'll just watch this big gold sun, get nice, big and full. And when it's ready, when you are ready, just poke a little hole in it and fill in from the top of your head all the way down to your tippy toes. And you want to focus on your bodies. Something to focus on in the physical, something spiritual, emotional, and mental. Now, in a faster meditation, if you need to do this in someone's bathroom, you can be a little more quicker. You can do it really fast. Just do a quickie. But if you have time, you can focus on some things. And then as you're practicing and doing these long meditations, then you can get where you can do some little quickie ones wherever you are. If something happens at somewhere you've gone out, on a date, to a club, to a friend's party, that's a little too crazy and you need to go and just Release some junk. Um, it's DFM. Doesn't forking matter. So think of something that this big gold sun is trickling through. You can go into your mind and your mental state and just fill in and fill in and it comes down and it'll come down your arms physical come all the way down fill in all your centers your heart your emotions your survival legs, your channels, your feet. And then you can ask. Ask for any help, ask for any guidance from the God of your heart, the earth, the universe, whatever that may be. Just sit for a moment and ask for anything that you may need. And then think that energy, spirit, for your, their help and helping with the meditation, helping to release cleanse and bless thank you for guiding me and loving me and helping me in my daily work for my life 
and my family and my friends. So mote it be, amen, bless be. In this work, you can just meditate if you like. You don't have to go quite as deep as I have gone. I became a spiritual healer through this work. I went to many, many meditation classes. I went to a few spiritual healing classes. I did some yoga classes. I got into second level Reiki. I learned how to do many spiritual works and I love it. With this work, there's a great need for people to become more aware, at least aware of the surroundings as who they are and who you want to be, especially if you have issues such as anxiety, nervousness, addiction, that kind of thing. This work is really good for that. It's important for a few things to do if meditation is not working for you. Make sure your health is good. Your brain and your gut are linked. Make sure you are eating good food, healthy choices. You're getting good sleep and you are working a productive life every day. Even if it's doing one thing productive, do something to make yourself feel wanted, needed, and fulfilled. This work can also help with that. You can go into your meditation and you can ask for guidance and help and leadership for spirit to guide you on what you would like to do in your life. If you don't know that, then ask. If you're unsure, ask. Ask every day. And I will say this every time. Ask away. If you don't ask, the spirit, the spirit can't help you. You have to ask. You will be allowed to go on with your life and on your path all on your own. You won't have help. You have to ask. Thank you very much for watching my films. Thank you for tuning in every week for new videos. Please like and subscribe. It'll help me out with what I'm trying to do and bring this work out to the world. I will be bringing you videos every week of some kind. I like to switch it up and also bring you some cool horse videos, farm videos, and then story times and meditation and all kinds of fun stuff that I have coming up. So please stay tuned and I thank you for joining me today at my meditation window. It's been fun. See you next time.
Und we're gonna drop that from our grounding from, sorry. If you don't ask, <clears throat> a three foot or a bubble around us.